Sup, 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 my name is Ray for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and we are talking about the new Black Wings from Premium Pack 17, and throughout this week we'll be counting, well, not counting down, we're actually talking about Premium Pack 17 releases. And now, I don't have the names in front of me, so I'm going to edit them in for you, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go by the levels, and what I remember, because I just pretty much learned about them tonight. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you everything I know. So, um, I just want to quickly say this is all new no idea where the fuck we're going to be like taking the deck uh in the future with this but it's going to be ridiculous so let's start with the level three 1200 attack i'm not sure the defense stats so it'll be on your screen for your viewing pleasure and basically this little guy when he sent to the graveyard from the field from the field to the graveyard you can search out for a black wing monster and add them to your hand. So it pretty much is like another black whirlwind. Allows more speed for the deck. Allows your normal summon him. Special Bora or Chris. Chris is one of the new ones. 1900. And as long as you control a black wing monster. You can special summon it. But you can only special one of these guys per turn. 1900. Ridiculous. And that's going to equal an armor master play. A black rose or a moonlight rose dragon. Moonlight rose dragon should be appearing on your screen as well. And Moonlight Rose Dragon will allow you to bounce shit, just in case you didn't know. It's it's basically like Black Rose, but every time a monster specials, I mean, it bounces one. Um, I think it's one monster. I'm not fully sure, but I'll put it in the description if need be. So, here's the breakdown to this one little level 3 card and why I like it so much. And I'm probably going to leave out one, or one of the Black Wings because I didn't fully read its effect. Um, I think it's one of the Synchros, but I semi-remember it, so bear with me. So this little level 3 guy is going to allow you to get Sirocco or Chris or Shura, one of the bigger guys, to get one of the smaller guys, rinse and repeat. Allows you, uh, that 1200 dodges a lot of shit, but then again, it's irrelevant to say it dodges a lot of shit, but basically level 3 tuner, are you really going to run it? I'm trying it. <laughs> I'm trying it out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying it out. Next one is Chris, the something something. I'm just going to have it on your screen. 1900 attack, basically it's Sirocco, but freaking level 4, and that 1900 attack, my god, we have something that searches out Shura now, that's not Sirocco, that has more playability. Now, don't get me wrong, I feel we're going to go different directions with Black Wings, meaning that there will be like an Exceed build, there will be a Synchro build, there will be an In-Between build, there will be a Quasar build, there's so much diversity now to be had, because a lot of these older Blackwing cards that were pretty much poop actually carry some potential now. So everything has to be re-looked at to see how good it is. Um, but this guy right here pretty much is your new Bora in a way, but bigger, you know, he's bigger and bulkier. The only thing is that he comes with a catch-22, which basically means that you can only special one of him per turn. Still, that 1900 attack with a 1400 gain, that's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like 3,300 attack. Uh, I'm half asleep and it's almost 5 in the morning. But it's ridiculous. I love him. It, it just I'm so excited. He's from the manga. I remember that much. He's from the manga. I didn't fully read through the manga. <clears throat> but he's from the manga. Excuse me on that part. And then we have um, this guy peering on your screen. Which is the level 6 synchro. And honest to god, it just makes arm wings so useless. It basically gives you another normal summon. I don't remember its secondary effect. I'm going to have all their effects in the description. I don't remember. It, it's something about, like, um, when you have monster 800 or something, it makes an opponent's monster drop by 800 points. I don't fully remember. I don't have it in front of me. Yes, I kind of suck because I left my computer in the other room. Didn't put it in the filming room. Um, point is, 2400 attack... So it'll go to 38. It makes Blizzard so good to run it to. So good. And with all the new level 4s, it, you know, it, well, the one level 4 to run, it's just ridiculous, ridiculous fun. So uh, back to what I was saying about Quasar Wings real quick. It is a possibility. It is something I'm working on. I'm just trying to find out, figure out the formula for it. I feel Steam has a big placement in that. Because Steam allows you to get a token that uh, you can use the token to bring back Steam, which basically allows you to summon Double Warrior and go into a level 5 synchro, and then from there use Oroshi to go into Formula. And then basically, if you can figure out what I'm mapping out in my head, you'll see your Quasar. This can also be done with fucking Soul Charge. Gotta love Soul Charge. Um, point is, 
there's a lot of different variations to take black wings into and then we also have this guy appearing i don't remember his level or nothing um all i remember is joe the is something tamer and all i know is he brings back level five from the graveyard i'm not sure if it's extra deck only but again in the description i was i was kind of liking him but not for standard black wings i feel like he's going to be used elsewhere so what do you guys think about these new black wings? I think they're fucking amazing. That's going to be my first thing. I kind of want to run everything. It's my initial thought about every support card is I just want to run everything for shits and giggles. Um, but in all seriousness, I don't know the ratios. I couldn't test on Dead Pro last night. I'm going to try to get this out with Coffee Tide. No promises, but I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. Because I am an adult. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I'm going to try to. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And I will do more premium pack 17 coverage on the support and be a little more thorough because I'll have the shit in front of me but again effects in the description pictures on it their names will be over the card I know it's in Japanese not everyone reads Japanese I will make sure that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and be able to look at the description figure that out so what do you guys think you will do with these guys I mean <clears throat> I was talking to Yugi Phone before you guys you should go subscribe to him and um he was talking about like how he feels rank 4 black wings are going to be a thing. And all honesty, I think that's going to happen. But I think what ultimately, if there is a deck that tops it, that is black wings, it's going to be a hybrid of Synchro and Exceed. That's my two cents. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to rate, to comment, and subscribe. Well, I should have just said it that way. And I will see you next video. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.